deplorable living conditions from leaking roofs to crime. It's why Cincinnati is going after a major landlord tonight. And in fact, hundreds of families live in these apartments owned by this specific company. Nine on your side's Tom McKee spent the day digging for the answer and is live with what he found out. Tom? Well, the Oms Hill apartment building behind me here is one of five properties owned by Purex Enterprises that's named in this massive lawsuit. Now, this is page after page after page of maintenance problems and 2,700 police runs the past two years. Now the city wants things to change. Ronnie Sanders has lived at the Alms Hill Apartments for a long time, but he's ready to move from the Walnut Hills high rise. Now, as far as the new owners taking over the building, it's just been a a big wreck, like a total mess. Um, one maintenance man out of 300 units. Residents of Avondale's Burton Apartments complain of trouble there as well. They don't want to fix nothing. It takes two to three, maybe four months before they'll come and fix anything in our apartments. At the in-town Manor Apartments on Reading Road, there's been a homicide, six assaults, a sexual battery, and a shooting. Maintenance at the Shelton Gardens and Reeds Valley Apartments in English Woods has been a problem, too. The city has sued the owner of all five buildings. So has legal aid, according to attorney Nick DiNardo. We have uh, prop problems with the elevators in the properties, with roof leaks, all sorts of other sorts of deferred maintenance just hasn't gone on. Another claim is owners retaliated against residents who spoke up. I wanted to know how committed the city is to solving the problem, so I sat down with the solicitor and city manager. Why isn't the city doing more to go after these types of owners? Um, we can't really go around and spot check um, properties. You know, there's uh, constitutional issues at play there. And so um, we have to assume that property owners are complying with the laws. And when they aren't, then we can take appropriate action to ensure that they do. I'm satisfied at this point that the city has and continues to do all that it can within the framework of the law. Uh, we're pushing the envelope as far as we can push it based on uh, uh, the law. Now, when I tried to get reaction from Purex Enterprises, I was told to call a man named Fred Kesserman in New Jersey. When I reached him by telephone, he said, I have no comment, and then quickly hung up. Tom McKean, I'm on your side, live in Walnut Hills.